Things just went from bad to downright chilling in Kim Kardashian's world. The queen of reality TV is facing a storm of scandalous rumors that would make your hair stand on end. So, get this. After Diddy's home got raided, the rumor mill went into overdrive, spinning tales about Kim allegedly being involved in some seriously shady business. We're talking whispers of child trafficking people. It's like something straight out of a nightmare. But wait, it gets even creepier. Now Kim's own daughter, Northwest, is allegedly stepping forward to expose her mom's dark secrets. Yep, you heard that right. North's claiming that Kim's been using her for personal gain and dragging her to Diddy's infamous parties. And trust me, you don't want to know the kind of stuff that goes down at those shindigs. If these rumors hold any truth, it's a chilling reminder of just how far Kim Kardashian might have gone in her quest for fame and fortune. It's like the darkest chapter of a Hollywood thriller come to life. North left Kim because North feels neglected and unloved due to Kim's reliance on nannies and a perceived lack of quality time spent together. Moreover, North alleges that Kim has exploited her for personal gain, using her daughter as a prop for her own purposes without considering North's well-being. Kanye West's response to North's decision has left the public stunned. Kanye West has just thrown a curveball by filing a complaint with CPS against Kim Kardashian, claiming she's putting their precious daughter North in danger. According to Kanye, Kim's reliance on nannies for North's care is a red flag, and he's having none of it. Kanye wants to be the hands-on dad, giving North the quality time she deserves. We all know North has a soft spot for her dad, and Kanye is seizing this moment to take matters into his own hands. He's alleging that Kim's use of nannies is jeopardizing North's well-being, and he's not mincing his words. If you've tuned into Kanye's recent song, you've probably caught wind of his feelings about Nanny's song. It's a sentiment he's not shy about expressing. But here's the bombshell. Kanye claims to have seen North wearing heavy makeup in some social media posts. Now, we're not talking about a teenager experimenting. We're talking about a 10-year-old girl. Kanye wasted no time raising this issue with CPS and guess what? They took swift action, deciding it was in North's best interest to be away from the drama. Star Kim Kardashian is finding herself at the center of controversy once again. This time, the backlash stems from her decision to allow her 10-year-old daughter, North, to wear heavy makeup and sport fake nails. And a series of shocking new photos fans and critics have taken to various social media platforms to express their concerns and disapproval of Kardashian's parenting methods. Many argue that at the young age of 10, North should be given the opportunity to enjoy her childhood without the pressures and expectations that come with heavily glamorized appearances. The photos in question depict North wearing sparkly acrylic nails, fake eyelashes, and bold lipstick, which further fueled the public's outrage. Critics argue that such choices not only contribute to the sexualization and premature maturity of young girls, but also send out a harmful message that places an undue emphasis on appearance and superficial beauty. Kim Kardashian's choice to allow her young daughter to dress up in a manner that is typically associated with older individuals has raised concerns and criticisms from various angles. One of the primary concerns is the potential impact on North's development and self-esteem. Childhood is a crucial stage in a person's life where they they learn and grow, exploring their own identity and sense of self. By allowing North to dress in a way that is often considered more suited for someone older, there is a risk of her being exposed to adult concepts and pressures at a young age. This can potentially hinder her ability to develop a healthy self-image and may lead to an unhealthy preoccupation with appearance and external validation. Moreover, by endorsing such choices, Kim Kardashian may inadvertently be perpetuating the sexualization of young girls. This can reinforce harmful societal messages that place undue emphasis on physical appearance and promote a narrow and unrealistic definition of beauty. It is crucial to prioritize the emotional well-being and healthy development of children, allowing them the freedom to explore their personal style and interests without the burden of adult eye expectations as a parent in the public eye. Kardashian has a responsibility to set a positive example for her children and the countless young followers who look up to her. Allowing North to dress in a manner more suited for someone older may confuse and blur the boundaries of age-appropriate behavior, sending a concerning message about the appropriate stages of development and self-expression for young individuals. This is not the first time Kardashian's parenting choices have been called into question as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Kardashian's children have been growing up in the constant scrutiny of the public eye. Some argue that this level of exposure can have detrimental effects on a child's development and self-image. It's important to note that while this incident has sparked condemnation
indignation and concern, everyone's opinions on, on parenting styles may vary. Some argue that it is ultimately up to the parents to make decisions regarding their child's appearance and self-expression. However, others raise valid concerns about the potential long-term impacts these choices may have on a child's self-esteem, self-worth, and societal expectations. North always wanted to be with Kanye West. After Kim filed for divorce from Kanye, Kanye publicly expressed concern that Kim would spoil their kids and turn them into the next generation of fame-obsessed Kardashian influencers. But when Kanye first started talking about his concerns in public, most people criticized him for harassing him and making her look like a bad mom. However, the latest reports are showing that Kanye's worries weren't baseless, and a Kardashian insider revealed that Kim is in fact indulging the kids too much with material things, while letting Nanny do most of the raising and disciplining Kanye first bow. The tea about Kim relying on Nanny too much in his track Easy With The Game. I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids, I stop taking the credit. Kanye then straight up called Kim out for going overboard with giving the kids too much stuff and said the kids are already becoming too entitled and spoiled. However, when Kim was chatting with Jay Shetty back in May, she was talking big about how she handles everything solo. From getting the kids ready for school to cooking their meals, Kim also claimed that she's holding it down all by herself and having to play the roles of both mom and dad to the kids. You have no idea what's going on. It's like, I always have to do one of my daughter's hair and it has to be perfect and it has to be a certain way and then this one needs me to put his shoes on and they all need you. And they all, it's like full crazy madness, cooking, running around, like it's its wild. Sometimes they're fighting and there's no one there. Like it's, it's me to play good cop and bad cop. So like that is definitely a challenge. But little did Kim know that her own kids would end up exposing her, especially her firstborn North, who is becoming more like her dad every single day, by the way. However, it looks like Kim is losing the grip of her narrative because not only did one of her Kardashian insiders expose her about spending very little time with her kids, but North is now publicly claiming she'd rather live with her dad, Kanye, because he doesn't have nannies. Kardashian insider who spoke to Life & Style last month said that Kim buys the kid everything they ask for, but she's leaving the difficult parts of raising the kids to the nannies. This insider said that Kim is shelling out around $100 thousand dollars a year to the nannies to look after her four little ones, adding that the kids are definitely spoiled. The source said, however, the Kardashian insider quickly came to Kim's defense when they realized how bad this makes Kim look, and they said Kim is working crazy hours, so she simply has no other option but to have a bunch of nannies taking care of the kids. She has the means to provide really cool things, and they're good kids, the source said, adding that the nannies work very long hours for Kim, because Kim also works a lot like 14 to 16 hour days, but it seems Seems like fans are not buying this idea that Kim K has 16-hour workdays. And even if she does, it's her choice because how much more money does she need? She could easily dial back the work to spend more time with her kids. And on top of that, fans also noticed that the kids ain't really attached to Kim and it looks like she has no authority over them. <laughs> but now North, who may be just 10 years old, but she's already rebelling against Kim big time and exposing her for not spending enough time with her kids. North actually started doing this a while back and she straight up called Kim out multiple times for acting fake on social media and stressing more about her followers than her own kids. It's really important to also do mental health checks on your friends you and your loved ones. your kids. Not your friend. And while Kim initially tried to laugh off North's comments, it looks like she now has a real situation on her hands because North is asking to move in with her dad and blasting Kim for using nannies and chefs. Instead of being a present parent, in the November 2nd episode of The Kardashians on Hulu, Kim was seen complaining to Courtney how every time North comes back from visiting Kanye, she cries and berates her for not living a more simple life. North, she'll go to her dad. She'll be like, Dad, is the best. He has it all figured out. He doesn't have a nanny. He doesn't have a chef. He doesn't have security. He lives in an apartment and she'll start crying. Why don't you have an apartment? I can't believe we don't have an apartment. Kim shared that North loves cooking, so Kanye always spends time with her in the kitchen, making simple meals, but back at the Kim K mansion, the chefs take care of all the kids' meals. However, Kim then seemingly threw some shade at Kanye by suggesting he shouldn't be praised for doing something as simple as cooking ramen with North. We make our own food. That's amazing that you make ramen. 
you know, mm-hmm. like, great, you know. But C fans are saying that Kim obviously doesn't understand it's not about ramen. It's about spending quality time with the kids and actually being present. Sounds like North is saying she misses having quality time at home because at Kim K's, there's always a team of people on deck to do everything for her. And she can't have a normal family day with her mom. Plus the fact that Kim went against Kanye's wishes and continued to expose her kids on social media and on her reality show is another thing that probably adds to North's frustration and why she prefers being at Kanye's place, with no cameras following her everywhere. One fan said, Kim always made them nanny's babysits, since each kid was fresh out, the womb. I think North probably wants to spend actual quality time with her dad. Maybe her and Kanye do fun things together, like make cookies, cakes, tea parties, etc. And she doesn't want to do all that with a nanny. However, Kim's diehard fans are now jumping to her defense and claiming that North is better off with Kim. Even if she uses Nanny, one of them said, so people really think North is safe around Kanye and his racist and right-wing rants. Kim isn't perfect and has bad moments, but I don't think she's as bad as Kanye. But let's hear your thoughts on this. What do you think is the real reason North prefers being at Kanye's place? Comment down below and don't miss out on this next video.